Hi, my name is Lu Mei Chen. I'm the president for the SJSU Women's Lacrosse team, and here I am. I found out about the women's lacrosse team through Instagram. I kind of did my own research on the school and ultimately found out we had one, but it didn't seem to be too active when I looked. But I reached out and found out that they were like going to have a season, so I joined. And I'm Lilia Rodriguez, the producer of this documentary. I have been on the team for three years, and I've been the captain and treasurer for two of them. So who are we? We're the SJSU Women's Club Lacrosse Team, where dedication meets community. We're all about combining passion with sportsmanship, as well as creating a space where every player feels valued and supported. Whether you're a seasoned player or new to the game, we welcome you with open arms. When Lumi and I first joined the team back in 2021, we saw that there were issues with financials, and not having enough team members or players. But we soon discovered that we were not alone in this and many of the teams in the past had dealt with similar issues. I was a junior in college, came in, transferred to San Jose State, decided that, you know what, I'm gonna coach because I wanna I wanna try something new. So came into the program fully well understanding that I was gonna, you know, be coaching people that were likely older than me um, right. because I was only a junior. And, you know, I stepped in and everyone treated me with respect right off the bat. Like, no, I never once had an issue. So because it was club, it was very like student player organized and run. So um, myself and then the captain at the time, Megan Obsidi, she, but we both, kind of were hand in hand working on everything as well as I think it was Angelica Merguia, I think was her last name. So one of the biggest issues that we faced was we didn't always have enough players, but a lot of games we would come up and everyone had to play the entire the entire game. I had the chance to talk to Angelica, who joined the team in 2012 and took on the role of president from 2013 to 2015, and Megan, who joined the team in 2013 and then served as club president in her last two years. Through email interactions, they were able to share with me some insights into the team's past. Both Megan and Angelica detailed the team's struggles, from recruitment challenges to financial hardships. Angelica stating, coming up with enough players to fill the field was always a challenge. I remember being able to find enough people wanting to learn to play, but getting them from never hearing about lacrosse to becoming part of the starting lineup for every game was a challenge. Despite these obstacles, the team persevered, driven by their love for the sport and their determination to succeed. Megan stated, We always played 110% in games, especially when the other teams did not match our numbers. We would always leave it on the field. And Angelica stating, so much of our team's success relied upon the friends and parents of the players helping us paint lines on our field in the early morning, using the last of our gas money to get us to our Southern California games, and just playing our hearts out when we knew we did the best we could to get there. So I remember like going to like the tabling and stuff and then signing up and going to like all the meetings. Um, and then I played for a little bit and then kind of COVID hit and then we stopped yeah. playing. Yeah, um, so in the beginning, um, we had, like, Morgan, she was our president. She kind of got thrown in there, too, like I did. So, like, just watching her kind of, like, get her bearings, and, like, I would help her, and, like, Gabby would help her, too. So, like, I kind of got into, like, the president position kind of like that, like, just seeing her do it. Yeah, so she was the president at first, and then she had some, like, troubles with her school where she unfortunately had to drop out, and she, at, when COVID hit, she was just like, oh, I just need someone to put their name on as the president. Like, I'll be back. And so she was like, I had the, I think I had like the best grades or something at that point. And like, Gabby couldn't do it. So I was like, oh, sure, just put my name on. And then it came back around and then we were playing and she wasn't back. So then I was like, oh, I guess I'm the president now. As president, I would say the most challenging thing is kind of just scheduling stuff and um, making sure like all the finances are right and making, like keeping them in check. Cause it was a lot of, especially because it was only me and Gabby, we had to do a lot of like the treasurer and secretary stuff like all together. And then like the whole money stuff was a whole nother aspect of that. Like keeping track of receipts, making sure we had enough. Like uh, it was just, it was a lot to deal with like everything all at once, but I still had a fun time with it. My first season on the team, it was fun getting back into the game. 
we were definitely like a more like fresh team. The teams we were going against were more skilled and they had been like together for longer. And I would definitely say one of the big things about the team on the 2022 season was we didn't really go into games thinking of like wh whether we would win or not. It was more of like, did we have enough girls to attend these games? Like that was what we were more focused on. We had Marissa at the time. She was great, um, but I definitely think it was a lot for her to take on by herself. And um, no one really like stepped up to it to kind of help her out. And she kind of just did what she could. And our, we had a coach too, but also wasn't like super there. Also because we didn't really have like a super committed team to really like bring everything all together. Um, honestly, I hadn't really th thought about taking on the leadership role and she had reached out to me talking about like how she thinks like I would do well in this role and that she will be able to teach me and let me know like um, how everything works in the league, in the team and in the school. And I wanted to play too and I know like there were some other girls that really wanted to play so I ultimately took the position of being a president. One of the biggest obstacles we had were definitely um, recruiting girls. We weren't sure how many girls would actually show up. And we did go to like a few recruiting events, but definitely not as much as like what other clubs would do. It was kind of like our first year taking over everything. So we weren't really sure on like how stuff works too. I think in total, we maybe only had like, like two or three recruiting events. And to our surprise, that was really all we needed to kind of get the new girls that we needed and we did like recruiting throughout the season just through like social media ch like shares and like instagram and i think that brought in like a lot of new girls like new players too i think morgan glazebrook uh she's a homie but yeah i think morgan definitely stepped up as a coach even her first year she was definitely like a little bit more new um but you could tell she wanted the team to kind of succeed and really just like develop the team over time too. Um, I had spoken with her before. She had a lot of her like friends, her colleagues tell her like, oh, like if it's a losing team, like why, why would you stay with that team? Like you might as well just coach like another team if you wanted to. But like she saw something in us and I guess she really just wanted to make it happen and like kind of prove to people like you do need time to kind of develop a team. And that was something like I really respected knowing that like she was kind of doing all the commutes to come down and kind of coach us and how she really took it, took our team as like a more of like a family approach, like really just taking care of us like that. So like that made me like have a lot of respect for her. I think my first year taking over, I had pretty much texted like every single player, like asking for like stuff they needed and just kind of like convincing them to go to games and like such too. Um, and like over time, you kind of just like kind of develop like like relationships with like your like teammates and like your players and I think that really did play a big role into like my leadership growth. I found out about the lacrosse scene through the Instagram um, and it looked like a really fun team to join and um, so I just thought why not give it a shot and it actually wasn't that hard to commit to. Lilia and Lume's uh, leadership definitely helped a lot. Just great leadership throughout the whole season and they really made sure everyone was comfortable and that um, they really just helped me out especially. Uh, Lilia Lumay's leadership um, this season was exceptional. Lilia reached out to me after um, I had texted that I was interested and she just made me feel really welcomed and then on my first day she really just made me integrate into the team really seamlessly. And from there, I was able to just have like a great experience. And Lume is just like an overall super fun, friendly person to hang out with. So she was also like a great part of the team. I found out about the team through tabling and Instagram. They've made it like a very like welcoming environment. Uh, like I never felt like scared of them or like afraid to like go up and like ask questions. I would say measuring the success of the club season this year is multiple variables. Obviously the wins, we got that win against Davis and Chico, which was really cool. It was both awesome games. And more than that, more than just winning, I would say the amount of people we got from recruitment. We did a lot of work in our recruitment this year with tabling and social media, just reaching out to people. 
The team's growth has been incredible to watch just joining as a player and then becoming treasurer and captain. It has been really cool to see everybody developing and growing their skills. And I'm just really excited to see where the team will go from here. I will be sticking around and helping out when I can. But yeah. I think for the team in the future, I think they'll do really well, um, especially with like a lot of the freshmen have experience and even like the uh, new players that like have little to no experience. They're coming to every single practice. They're improving really fast. Shout out Isa. I think my like big takeaway from like this whole journey of being on like the women's lacrosse team is definitely like not giving up on like the team as like a leader and then also as a player um, sticking around for it. From like my first year to like now we've won more games every single year than the previous year. Throughout the season, we've seen the team's dedication, passion and teamwork shine bright. From fun practices to thrilling games, these athletes have given their all. But beyond the wins and losses, what stands out most is the sense of family within the team. Each player brings something special, and together we form bonds that will last a lifetime. I really liked like the Santa Barbara tournament, and I liked all like the team bonding and the dinners and things. And then, but I think my favorite was the UC Davis game after the win, because that was just like very fun. I think the biggest thing that exceeded my expectations was how close we would all get. Um, I didn't. I knew that I would like go in making friends, but I didn't know that we would become such a close group of friends. So I think that was the biggest thing for me. I think by far my favorite moment or memory of the season was just the whole Santa Barbara tournament because that's when all of us really kind of connected as a team, especially with one another. And you know, I would talk to like some of the girls that I never really talked to before. So. It was just a great experience overall. I would say it definitely elevated my SJSU experience. And I'd say to any girls who are thinking about joining, just do it. Like you're gonna not regret it. Like it'll be a great experience. It'll be so fun. And you should just definitely do it. Do it, you won't regret it. It's really fun, great people. It's the highlight of my whole first year. As we conclude, let's celebrate the victories, learn from the challenges and cherish the memories made. Thank you for joining us on this incredible ride. This isn't goodbye, but rather the start of new adventures for the SJSU Women's Clubs Lacrosse team.